What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 Vendor Reset video. I do these every single week with Cassie Mendoza to follow tomorrow. So guys, I will be doing a special giveaway for a Division 2 uh, figurine. Uh, it will be at Hopos 5 BST today in a couple of hours. It'll be on Twitch. Links will all be in the description. Make sure to double check the uh, instructions on how to actually access this giveaway. It'll be in the description. There will be a giveaway link. Go and click it. You guys will see how it basically Come and watch the stream on Twitch. All you have to do is type in exclamation mark giveaway and you will just have to answer a few questions and you are in the running. Then within 24 hours, I will exit, I will announce the winner of the giveaway and you guys will get a figurine with a sticker and a signed box. Uh, the figurine box will actually be signed by myself. So uh, it'll be something cool for the community to give back to you guys. It's my birthday today. So please come and stop by for the birthday stream today on Twitch at Hoppost 5 BST today. So let's have a look and see what the vendor reset has to offer us today we did get a few maintenance a few changes to gameplay today but it's nothing too crazy i will go over it in another, in another video though so we've got the invisible hand with perfect allegro rate of fire 3.7 percent vector spo with headshot damage and ranger mk16 with crit chance as the attribute with close and personal five at six magnum with crit chance salvage badger tough backpack with adrenaline rush this is actually quite a decent bag it has got hazard protection and crit chance with just below three quarter roll armor which you could re-roll uh, this also is a great gear set for tanks because you do get five percent total armor and armor on kill very nice then we've got a douglas and harding chest piece with trauma and the attributes are crit chance and repair skills offensive mod 4.4 percent crit chance i'm hoping for the god roll one one day guys we can we can only hope really then we've got for the drone 6.2 percent armor repair for the turret 4.1 percent burn damage and for the sticky payload five percent blast radius Let's go check by Inaya. Make sure to come and double check if she does not have any kind of blueprints available. So come over here. Nothing. If she's got something, it will be there. If you've got all the blueprints and you will not see it at all. And then we're going to move over to the clan vendor level 40. And have a look and see what he has got for us. I'm hoping one day we can get that god roll uh, crit chance mod. I think my highest one is about 5.3%. It's a bit of a shame. But it's the best one I can get. They are quite rare. Let's have a look and see what the vendor, the clan vendor has to in store for us this week. The burnout again with perfectly on empty, crit chance 7.5%, Eclipse Protocol knee pads with headshot damage, very, very nice gear set. This is actually being fixed. Uh, sometimes when you spread the status effect, it would give uh, incorrect readings uh, between the enemies, especially in PvE. They have actually fixed this, so the damage will be more consistent uh, in the patch that actually went down today. Strikers Battle Gear Holster, Hazard Protection maxed out. Very interesting. And then you can just reroll the weapon damage to armor or weapon damage, depending on what kind of build you want to use. Aces and eights holster with 11.3% weapon damage, 10.3% skill haste, G28. Uh, this has got health damage and eyeless. Custom L86A2 with swap speed and unhinged. Tommy gun with rate of fire and future perfect. Murakami knee pads, status effect and health. Then we have got the resolute MK47 with maxed out damage to targets out of cover. Remember, if your triangle is not at the end, you can buy this and actually put that on your attribute in your library and max it out. Very, very nice weapon. High damage. This is actually a really, really nice one. You can just reroll crit damage and max it out. Very good. Honey you backpack with composure, hazard protection and status effect. Uh, Fenris knee pads with their old rainbow rolls, unfortunately. Defensive mod, 8.7 blind death resist. Then we've got for the turret, plus one extra sniper ammo. Offensive mod, 7.6% headshot damage. And then for the uh, drone, we've got 8.7% health. The theater settlement vendor, we have got Baker's Dozen. Unfortunately, the rolls are low. Perfect lucky shot. SASG 12K with close and personal stability. UIC 15. This is a, a rifle, and it has got... Strained on it with crit chance 6.5%. Murakami gloves with explosive resistance maxed out. Shesuke knee pads with headshot damage and armor regen. Three quarter rolls. Defensive mod 8.4% bleed resistance if anyone wants these. Pretty decent if you're stacking bleed resistance on a hazard build. Then we've got ball bearings which is plus one cluster mines for the seeker mine. Then for the shield 4.2% deflector damage. For the firefly 6.1% skill haste. And then for the decoy 6% duration. The campus settlement. We have got new reliable, perfectly optimized, very, very good weapon if you're on console. The accuracy is amazing because you get that 30% weapon handling. Very, very nice. It's a decent one as well. Just reroll the health damage. Surplus SVD, optimal range 18.5% with naked. Military L86 LSW with ranger and accuracy 9.1%. Group of mask with hazard protection, armor region, honey, you holster. Crit chance and hazard. Could be an interesting hybrid build, potential piece. 
Then you should utility mod slot 8.4% skill duration. For the chem launcher, 6% skill haste. For the hive, 7.3% health. For the pulse, 8.7% radius. And then for the trap, 5.7 second duration. Moving on to the dark zone. Before we do, let's have a look and see what the targeted loot is for this week so you, or for today, so you guys are aware of it. In DZ West, we've got marksman rifles. In DZ South, we have got assault rifles. DZ East, we have got pistols. Let's see what Dark Sun West Vendor has to in store for us. We have got Q Labre once more with reload speed 7.4%, very low rolls unfortunately, with perfect jazz hands, tactical super 90 SPS, with preservation, not bad, roll on crit damage, SER, SS, maxed out damage to armor, but the other rolls are pretty low. Sadus as the uh, attribute, sorry, as the talent. Then we've got hardwired gloves with repair skills, true patriot knee pads with skill damage and Three quarter roll armor, not bad. Then we've got Overlord gloves, rainbow rolls, very low as well. Knee pads, Alp Summit. Skill damage, you could roll repair skills over there if you want, or skill haste. Defensive mod, 8.3% disrupt. For the Seeker Mine, 5% skill haste. For the shield, 4% damage bonus. For the Firefly, max targets plus one. And then for the decoy, 6% duration. Dark Zone East Fender. We have got the Ekim's Long Stick with optimal range, 18.5%, perfect ranger. Covert SRS with reformation, reload speed. Custom L86 was strained. Negotiator's uh, Mask. Now the PvP damage multipliers have been uh, adjusted and actually fixed in PvP. So Negotiator's might make a slight comeback in PvP. It's not going to be as broken, but they have actually fixed it now apparently in the patch notes. Negotiator's Dilemma Holster. We've got Armor Region and then a core attribute, which is weapon damage is quite low. On Cave Mask, Armor Region, status effect. Wyvern Way Holster, status effect, crit damage. Utility mod site, 15.6 repair skills. Then we got for the chem launcher, 6.1% skill haste. Then for the hive, 4% healing for the pulse, 4.7 skill haste. Trap, 4.2 second duration. Dark Sun South Fender, we have got the grudge. Damage to armor, 5%. Perfect, vindictive. Co uh, converted SMG9 with spike and magazine size. Max out crit chance. Military P416 with reformation crit chance. Officers M9. Crit damage is 6% with future perfect. On going direct to backpack. Crit chance 4.7 with weapon damage decent. True Patriot chest, explosive resistance and armor. Healer guard backpack with two Patriot yellow rolls and leadership. Murakami chest with braced crit chance and crit damage. This could be good for a potential hybrid build. Offensive mod side 7% headshot damage. Then for the uh, drone, we've got 6.2% duration. For the turret, 5.9% duration. And for the sticky, 4% burn duration. Let's move over to New York. In the New York safe house, we've got Marco over here. Let's have a look and see what he has. SOCOM MK16 with killer. Crit damage, 8%. Military MK46. Swap speed, eyeless. Urban MDR, stability reformation. Military M9 within sync, reload speed. Sokolov concern, chest piece. Decent rolls with crit chance, weapon handling, and unbreakable. Badger tough, gloves. Armor region, skill damage. Wyvern way holster, not very good. Defensive mod, 17% incoming repairs if you guys are looking for one of these. Defensive mod, 8.3% bleed resistance for the shield. 4.3% shield health, then for the chem notch, 6.1% heal, then for the decoy, 5.5% duration. So guys, we're going to go up to the last vendor now. Please make sure to stop by on the stream today at Hoppos 5 BST in a couple of hours to enter the giveaway and come support me for my birthday stream on Twitch. I do appreciate it, guys. Remember, all links will be down below. Let's see what Marco has the final vendor, of the, oh, sorry, Roy Benitez has for the final vendor this week. Please use MP45. Decent rolls with perpetuation. Power true BSVD with Sadist. Spaz 12 with Sadist again. 93R with future perfect and crit damage 8%. Wyvern Wear Backpack with health, hazard protection, creeping death. Badger Tough Knee Pads, uh, low armor unfortunately, but it has got crit damage and hazard protection. RNK Mask, explosive resistance and skill haste. Utility mod with 10.3% skill haste. And then for the offensive mod, it is 7.4% headshot damage. For the Seeker Mine, plus one cluster. For the Firefly, 5.9% skill haste. And for the decoy, 6% health. That's going to be it for this week's vendor research agents. Before we end this video, I just wanted to quickly showcase something that a lot of people might not be aware of. So Tuesday, everything is now reset. Uh, every week we get an update or some sort of uh, reset of all the uh, control points. Uh, we do get uh, invaded missions pop up. Uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, you can come over here to your projects and go right here into the SHD requisition. And you actually get an exotic cache every week. Make sure you do this. Uh, even if you have got all of the exotics because you can acquire exotic components, all you have to do is donate this many electronics, uh, fabric, polycarbonate receiver components. Just go to resource convoys to get these. And then for like ex electronics, go to, for example, a vendor and buy a piece of green gear, the cheapest piece of green gear set item. 
and then just deconstruct it, you get four electronics per piece. And if you've got over 800K credits like I do, it's pretty simple. So make sure you guys do that. So that's going to be it for this week's Vendor Reset. Remember guys, tomorrow will be Cassie Mendoza and I will be showcasing um, all of her items. So make sure you can go and activate the snitch now if you want to. And then tomorrow when she becomes available, you can just pop on and go straight to her. So I'll be seeing everybody later on on Twitch if you guys want to stop by. And like always, leave a like, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace out, agents.